Arnold awaits us for supper. <laughs> Still no sign of them, my good lord? Nothing, Gildas, nothing at all. I can no longer see, but I am absolutely certain my faithful knights will never return. <laughs> With all due respect, my lord, you have allowed despair to overcome Do me. you want me to dance a jig? <laughs> oh, come, come now, my lord. Bro, oh, where are those days of yore when my castle did shine in all its glory? <laughs> Where are my men, my guards, my five players? <laughs> Alas, they have all fled, my good lord. I may be blind, Childress, but I am nobody's fool. It is quite clear that no one wishes to stay in this fortress. <laughs> Who would want to live here in fear of the world goblin? Speaking of which, it is nigh time to send your niece to a safe haven, to the convent of the Crooked Tooth Sisters. Ah, Julius, if only I'd had a nephew! I could have taught him the basic principles of dragon hunting. Oh, yes, please, Uncle. That would be so darn neat. Well, it's not that I would rather have you be a boy, my little girl, but the fact is you are not one. Hunting just isn't suitable for little girls. Ah! Seen him? Have you slain him? <laughs> Cease your stupid groaning! Articulate! Uh, where are my other faithful knights? With all due respect, my lord, our faithful Branyan is but a pile of ashes. The smoldering knights. Another side, my lord. Raise the drawbridge! Lower the portcullis! We've got to get a bigger knife! You! Go pack your bags! You're going to the crooked tooth! <laughs> Lock all the doors and bring me my battle axe and my sword! <laughs> You've got to get Silver Knight Gothic!
Clause 2 states, upon receipt of the slain Mamularis, Fat John of Wickedshire will pay the measly sum of 24 guineas to the Valorous Dragon Hunters. I don't see any hunters. All I see is a bevy of clowns. Walking disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Look what your bonehead there did to my cabbage patch with his goofball antics. Fat John of Wickedshire, look at me. Isn't that your ex there at the bottom of the contract? Enough said, river rat. You're getting deadly squat. Do you want to get my muscle-bulging buddy all riled up? Is that what you want? Move out of my fields and take the clown with you. Ooh, the mutt wants his doggy food, huh? Oh, dear me. Great. I just tore my tights. What's the matter, Guizdo? Are you mad? You think that for once you could take your job seriously? It's always the same old circus, Leon Chu. All you do is clown around for the peanut gallery. But I don't do it on purpose. Yeah, it's a blimey good thing, too. Why, pray tell, do you think these hicks never pay? Because they've got no money? No! They rip us off because you're not credible! What does credible mean? I don't know. Uh, well, take uh, Hector here, for example. Hector, with his big fangs and all that fur, well, he's credible. And that's why the hicks are scared of him, you get it? Come on, Bush. You don't get it. Okay, look, a dragon hunter who's credible makes the whole earth shake when he walks, right? Like boom, boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, huh? <laughs> and if he has to, he smacks his debtors a couple of times. Bim, bam, fork over the money. You get the picture? Hitting clients? That's being credible? <sighs> Another example. You think it's credible, a dragon hunter who likes to knit. But I tore a hole in my. You got mammular boogers on the brain or what, you knucklehead knitting something old ladies do? It was my mother who taught me.
Look, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean what I said about knitting. If you want a more credible friend, why don't you go look for one? Don't be ridiculous. I could never find a better friend than you. You're just saying that so I won't be angry. Stop it. Who do you want me to hire as a partner, huh? <laughs> Fat John of Wickedshire? <laughs> No way. We're a real team, me and you. Yeah, Hector. The three of us. The three of us. Stay quiz, though. You think we'll have our little farm someday? Of course we will. You'll see. A quiet little house on the water. And we'll have chickens, cows, pigs. And we can have sheep. For the wool. Yeah, right. And you'll knit me a shawl and woolen underwear for the winter. <laughs> what? Tim Bob Dragons. Hey, this might make some quick cash. Leon <laughs> 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 Shu, wait for me! Leaping lizards, two grilled Jim Bobs for the price of one. Well, when I say price, that's just my way of talking, okay? Good girl. Now, we got two Jim Bob dragons, night tariff, 30 guineas payable on delivery. Got the money on you, kid? Um, no. Yeah, that figures. But of course, your daddy's got money, right? Where are your parents? They're dead, mister. Oh, what misfortune. Once again, we work for peanuts. And what are you doing in the woods at night without a guinea in your pocket? Looking for noble knights for my uncle, who is very, very rich. Wait a minute. Very, very rich? You are real knights, aren't you, my lord? Knight Lian Chu was hiding behind the village gates. The sun was up. Bloodthirsty dragons were attacking from all sides. Knight Lian Chu was alone, you see, alone against all odds. And then? And then, Knight Lian Chu grabs onto a roof by the tips of his teeth. <gasps> Yeah! And he leaps above the horde, hollering, Yeah! Yeah! And after that, after that, my lord? After that, Knight Leon Chu jumps into the crowd! A smack hey, here, real. and a whack there! Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am! He ducks a sword in each hand, and he sends them all flying with a kick to the butt! A real massacre! <laughs> wow. That took about a whole week to clean up the village. Whoa, that's unreal. <laughs> Almost as fabulous as Silver Knight Gothic. Huh? What? Competition? Silver Knight Gothic. The hero of legends. He also slaps around dragons with strength, courage, and generous spirit. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, it's uh, it's kind of like that, except for the generous part. You shouldn't believe everything you read in fairy tales, right, kid? <laughs> you see, we're more like, uh, wandering knights. In any case, Uncle Arnold is going to be happy to see you. Incredible now. My lords and ladies, 
How you doing? Put on a smile and open your bulging purses. Sir Guizdo and Knightly and Chu, the greatest dragon hunters Who from the... Who dares uh... disturb me during my cloister? With all due respect, my lord, it is two miserable louts and your niece. Not at all! Zoe! They are wandering knights, uncle, and they just saved my life! Go to your room, you little runaway! Uncle! Tomorrow, it's off to the Crooked Tooth! <laughs> You! What feats have you done, besides putting up with my niece? Uh, us? Well, uh, the noble knight Leon Chu is famous in many a land, and his fearless feats have inspired so many before him that his friend... Spare me the folklore! Warrior, take a step forward! Hmm. He's got muscle and uh, raw power. Mm. Yes, the attributes of a true warrior. Your Highness, if you please, they are... Shut up, Gildas. Let's roll, son. I have a mission for you. of his awakening. Look! The crenellations collapse. The smoldering nights. The red cloud. The bridges sailing away. The sinking villages. And talking animals. When all of these signs have appeared, my boy, he will have returned. The devourer of life. The world cobbler. I have seen him, son. I once lifted my sword before him, and the mere sight of his fiery gaze drove my own eyes back into my skull. Since then, all I can see is a dead, gray landscape. A terrible place where there is no life and no joy. What's that little treater next to the dragon? That is for scale, dear knight. Go to his kingdom, enter his lair far off in the west beyond the end of the world, and strike him while he sleeps before it's too late. Uh, yeah, 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 but uh, no. It's a cruel blow, but uh, ooh, look at that, we're all booked up. Uh, strike him dead, and the world will be saved. Aren't you? Say goodbye. We're disturbing the man. Then my health and sight will return, and I will cover you in gold. Dear client, you can make room for his head in your museum of horrors. <laughs> hey, but first, let me show you our standard contract, special little advance for travel expenses, and since we're amongst noble knights here, right, a uh, large purse of gold should do the trick nicely. <laughs> Modern methods? Why not? Gildas! <laughs> yeah, just put an X there, here, here, and there. The red cloud, my lord. Saddle up, my good brave knights. Keep 
heading west, my lords, until the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, for sure, old man. For sure, Randa. Say hi to the missus, will ya? <laughs> Where are you going? The Quaffa cold one, buddy. It's not every day we get to rip off a blind old geezer. That's not the way to the end of the world. Leonchu, don't you understand? Who cares about their end of the world? We're rich. You know what this is? An advance? This is our little farm, buddy. The one of our comfy little dreams with sheep everywhere. <laughs> now let's get out of here while the beasties are busy. Ah! I'm coming with you, my lord. <laughs> What? Zoe, you can't be serious. Sure I am. My uncle told me I had to come with you to the end of the world. Oh, really? Well, weren't you punished? No. And what he also said was that I should learn the rudiments of the trade. No, 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 and no! You go home and explain to Uncle Arnold that Lord Gwizdo does not take on apprentices. He also said that if you don't want to take me, he would, uh... Would, uh, what? That he would spank your bare bottom in public. My bare bottom? In public? Okay, Sir Lian Chu's groupie, your backstage chatter is very close to driving me bonkers. Tough luck for the public spanking. Oh, oh, I'm so Zoe! So you grab your bag and you get lost! You go home now! We don't travel well with little kids. <laughs> Stay. 
strange, but I have this funny feeling that some real doo-doo's gonna start flying. And so Nightly on Chew was on the western bridge with a big red dragon who was breathing fire. And he said to him in his big, deep voice, I am not scared of you, big red. One move from you and you're dead. Who is the man of a thousand feet? The terror of dragons far and near. real knights early on, Chu. Do you go to night school? Wow, this is really unreal that you're taking me with you. I mean, really unreal. Hey, are there girl knights? Because me, I want to be a girl knight. And that time you were hanging from the tips of your teeth, how'd you do that? And your funny sword there, is that a magic sword? Um, I don't really know. Silver Knight Gothic, he's modest too. He always says modesty is the sign of great knights like me. He's my favorite fairy tale hero. I'd love to meet him one day and become his best friend or his future girl knight. Unreal. But you can't in real life. Oh, bummer. Uh, I can't take it. I'm gonna hang myself. They're only blisters. Put some herbs on them. I'm not talking about my blisters. I'm talking about Princess Blabbermouth! A fire! Uh, a fire! In any case, did you see how credible I am with her? Yeah, but the idea of being credible, Lian Chu, was to take Uncle Arnold's money and run! Not to play knights and dragons until the end of the world! The fire of night, Lian Chu oh. always went to get wood for the fire, along with the funny blue dog who talks. <laughs> Say there, sir, am I mistaken, or is your dog a bit weird? <laughs> so... Are you going to tell her that we're not real knights? Yeah, right. And that we ripped off Uncle Fish Eyes. And then she goes and spills the beans. Oh, no, buddy. Now we're in deep doo-doo here. He sure is weird. <laughs> but what do we do now? Get you in the woods. No oh. crying, no fuss, no explanations. Yeah, it's a surefire method. And with little luck, she'll get gobbled up by wild beasts. Are you sure? You bet I am. That world gobbler and his little tree for scale? Oh, not for me. Tonight, we'll wait till she falls asleep and zip. We're out of here. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's Gwizdos. <laughs> That's so funny, sir. I'm really sorry, but knitting's for grannies. No, it's not. It certainly is. She's absolutely right. Knitting's for old ladies. Uh, but hey, the truth is, my mother taught me, and knitting relaxes me, especially after a long, hard day. So scram, scat, and go play with good old Fido. <laughs> You really have a super ton of scars, sir. Say, those are hunting wounds, right? Do they hurt? Me too, I've got some. That one's a wild squirrel when I was playing in the trees. And that one's a duck that was fabulously angry one day. We used to have tons of ducks before my parents died of cholera. And then my uncle brought me to his fortress and... Don't you ever get tired. Sure. But I always need a bedtime story to get me to sleep. A bedtime story? Oh, yes, just a short one. Please, sir? You mean just one short story and then you go to sleep? Hey, no problem then. But it's one story and then Betty by, right? Then you fall asleep, okay? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay, Silver Knight Gothic. And brave Silver Knight Gothic wrenched the terrifying creature out of the shadows. His shiny scales were dripping blood from the children he had just devoured, and whose terrifying scream still echoed in the bone-chilling wind of the labyrinth. The fat, slimy creature growled, revealing his sharp, crooked yellow fangs, and he moved away from the oozing wall. Silver Knight Gothic stared him straight in the eyes and then said, with a voice that did not waver, I am... I'm not afraid of you, dreadful thing, for my heart is pure as a fresh water spring. Huh. With my silver daggers, I shall lop off your head. And justice will be done only when you are dead. And Silver Knight Gothic threw his silver daggers that sparkled like diamonds, and the monster died in terrible agony. Well, I never. It's no wonder this girl's a live wire. I mean, kids should not be reading this stuff. She's fast asleep, Leon Chu. 
This is our chance. Let's go. Hey, Leon Chu, are you asleep? Come on, Leon Chu, get up. Can you hear me? Leon Chu, wake up. Hurry, will you? Le would you look at me? Come on. Hey, get up, get up. Come on, Leon Chu. Hey, buddy, wake up. Can you hear me? Have a bad sleep? Tonight, if you start snoring again, I'm chopping off your nose! I was faking. What? You did that? But that's immoral! One doesn't abandon children in the woods. Of course you do! Our little farm, Leon Chu, it's right there! And you, because of some little girl who thinks... She will get lost. I'm ready! Me? What I really like in a Zeal Bulgarian omelet are the little pieces of mushroom inside. Mmm, I'm real. Do you like a little piece of mushroom? And Jill just, he tries to make me eat the eggs. How about you? Do you like eggs early on, too? Because to be honest, eggs, well, I think they smell like stink. Yeah. Well, we're lost too, old buddy. Let's be honest, he's surely not that way. Now, on the other hand, if we take a little side bridge there, we reach the pretty little field of daisies where we were yesterday. But and we can walk it. Isn't it that way to the end of the world? Okay, so it's fabulously unreal that we're taking you with us on our little adventures, but why don't you bug off and let us work? And besides, no kid's gonna teach me my geography, lens okay? Flare. It's our lens flare, one of my uncle's best You lonely critters! Leave me in peace! But... But you're not animals, are you? Uh, no. It's me, Zoe. Zoe. Don't you Zoe. recognize Zoe, me? Zoe, 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 Stark Zoe, Raving Zoe, Man. Zoe, Zoe, he wasn't Zoe. like that before. Zoe! <laughs> I do not fear you, ugly thing. My heart is pure as a freshwater spring. <laughs> Over there. Don't you see a knight? <laughs> Be quiet. Do as I say. Go home. But my lord, the royal gobbler. Huh? Over there, another knight. Forget the royal gobbler, kid. You'll never see the Are you spilling the beans again, you old chatterbox? I know. No, I'm not spilling the beans. Hey, that's our crystal and the great knight Leon Chu, and they're gonna make kindling out of the royal gobbler. But, but you're mad. Yes, you are. You are mad, aren't you? Answer me. Yes, I'm calling mad. You're mad. I know you're mad. <laughs> mad. Mad. I know
skeleton dragon carries off everyone in sight. Either so Leon Chu? Something around here smells bad. And besides, my stomach is in knots, and my hands are sweating, and my legs are shaking, and cold sweats running down my neck. Is that normal, Sir Leon Chu? I think I... I want to... go back home. Scary ghost town, or stinky forest? Scary ghost town. What's the problem? The big tree. Yeah, what about it? Those leaves are really strange. Yeah, well, good riddance, stinky leaves!
be all alone with the ugly bats. I called for help, and he didn't budge. I knocked on the door, but he didn't even open it. that we could be relaxing on our little farm. <laughs> hey, I mean, we've been talking about our little farm for eons, right? Ever since Mother Hubbard's little orphan paradise? Hey, do you remember when we were kids? <laughs> when I taught you how to hide your cookies in your underpants so the other kids wouldn't steal them? <laughs> and you gave a wedgie to the big guy with lice every time he took my cookies? <laughs> when the world gobbler is dead, we can have our little farm. All oh, right, the great knight Leon Chu was gonna say to the world gobbler, I do not fear you, ugly thing, and poof, the world gobbler's dead, and we're all happy as pigs. Stop. I'm not finished. And then nature blossoms, everything's green, and there are little white bunnies flying all over the place. Stop. We're all gonna die. Because of some little girl who dreams of knights, but you see, life's not a fairy tale. In real life, knights, they always die. I don't want you to die, Leon Chu. Then why don't you step off the village if you don't want to come? Oh, so that's the way it is, huh? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Farewell and good riddance, Knight Leon Chu. Get Move! <laughs> Why is Sir Bristol leaving? Because he says we're all going to die. Oh, that's a crock of poop. Hmm. Maybe he's right after all. No, he's not right. You are the strongest. Stronger than Silver Knight Gothic. Wisdom says that life isn't a fairy tale. What does Sir Gwizdo know anyway? And besides, who is that Gwizdo? Lord Pain in the butt? Sir Old Fart? Mr. Blisterfoot? He was my one friend.
doing here? Hello there, Sir Guido. So, the rat's jumping the ship, is he? <laughs> What's this circus all about? You're abandoning your friend, Lord McChicken. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a sec. What do you girls want? To make me feel guilty, is that You're it? You're scaredy pants. Scaredy pants? Yeah, and so what? Do you think I look like the hero of his fairy tale? Only on you. What's gonna happen to him, huh? He won't listen to me. Sir, I'm shaking like a leaf. Sir, I'm sh 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 shaking like a leaf. It's all Zoe's fault. And the lie, sir, ripoff artist. Shut up! I didn't choose to be small and poor. Don't forget ugly and mean. Exactly! Ugly and mean. Now get out of here, scram! Just scram, bats! I don't believe in heroism and, and happily ever afters and, and animals that talk and hear. Animals that talk? Me here. Ah, tell me honestly, kid, what do I have at the end of my arms? Hands? Wrong! <laughs> Hello there, little Zoe. <laughs> Leon, too. Sir Gwisto's doing weird things with his hands, like night lens flare. Fishy. Good eat!
Zoe? 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 Your legs are just fine. You had a bad fall. That's all. You were right, Quizdo. Life isn't a fairy tale. But you know, it doesn't matter if you're not really knights. You're still my favorite heroes. <sighs> Bianchu, he's even stronger than Silver Knight Gothic. And that's no fairy tale. All you have to do is believe. But Lian Chu needs you in order to uh, succeed. Uh, Promise me I'll carry through to the end, Gwisto. And my death won't have been in vain. It's a promise, Zoe. We're gonna make kindling out of the world gobbler. I swear we will. Oh, thank huh? you, Gwisto! <laughs> but, but you and <laughs> you're not hurt? Nope. I just fell down there. You but that that's that's immoral. Do you realize what a fright you gave us? You were really scared? Of course I was! That means you love me. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, party's over, guys. Uh, we got us a world gobbler to slay. <laughs> scale, sir. That, what, that noise, what, what is that? Is that an earthquake? No. It was snoring. We have to find it.
do not fear you, ugly thing. My heart is pure as a freshwater spring. <laughs> Everything is real pretty now. <laughs> now over there will be the barn. Uh, oh, and there, the chicken coops. What do you mean? Well, our little farm, old buddy. <laughs> With sheep for your wool. And there, the milk for bread. A big milk. And over there, your sheep barn. And when I say sheep barn, I mean a real sheep barn. And here, our house. With your bedroom, my bedroom, and Zoe's bedroom. <laughs> Big room, huh? What if you were to fly in bunny rabbits for whenever she comes to see us during holidays, right? Yes! <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so cool. So, we're gonna go pick up Uncle Arnie's cash? We certainly deserve it. We Well, my noble knight.
knights. Uh, but, but my great and wealthy lord, we're here. You? Yeah, Leon, Chu, and Gwizdo. You know, dragon hunters. Ha! <laughs> All right, look, isn't that your ex at the bottom of this parchment? All right, enough of this. I don't see any hunters. What I see are two coarse and lowly robes. With all due respect, my lord, I do believe I did warn you. But, but Uncle, it's really true. Bianchu killed the world gobbler. That's why you've been cured, and nature has blossomed, and there are little bunnies everywhere. And you, little runaway, your tall tales will get you nowhere. They're not tall tales. Bianchu is a hero. Out of my sight, insolent girl. Your eyes are even more inside out than before. Uh. Off to the convent, little pest. So much the better. Because I'd rather go to the Crooked Tooth Convent than live with a bitter, heartless, ugly old fart who doesn't even love me. Zoe, get back here immediately. Zoe's right. You're really a loser. And besides, you're mean to little girls. You don't know Zoe. She's kind, she's courageous, and she's intelligent. And she deserves so much better than a, a dishonest, self-centered, miserly old uncle. And with all the respect I have for the boogers in my nose, I'd like to know what Lord Arnold the Buttwipe has to say about that. <gasps> hmm. Ooh, I tell you, kings are not respectable people. Ah. It was when you called him Arnold the Buttwipe that he really got mad. Hey, hey, just a sec there, Mr. Coward. You could have done something. Why? You did a great job on your own. A great job? Are you pulling my leg? If it wasn't for you, Zoe would have gotten spanked on her bare bottom. Hmm. <laughs> huh? You know, you're right. Do you think we'll see Zoe again someday? Ah, forget about her, buddy. I mean, look at us. Nothing's changed. We're still too coarse and lowly rogues just good for getting our butts kicked by royalty. Hey, wait up for me, noble knight. <gasps> Sakura? Zoe? What are you doing here? The old crooked tooth isn't my style. Oh. I'm gonna go live on the little farm with you guys. <laughs> what little farm? You know, the one you dream of. With the big mill and the barn and sheep for wool. Zoe, I love you. We shall die, and Arnold stick your money where sun don't shine.